ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another exciting episode of True Morning Radio. I am your host, the Kaiju Conservative. Did Joe Biden shart his pants on a live stream? That's what the internet's wondering. <laughs> I shit you not, and 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 yes, that was uh, that that was pun intended. Uh, so the so Joe Biden had a live stream event uh, today, and and he was doing a a scripted softball interview uh, with Democrat Governor Tom Wolf from Pennsylvania, a man by the way who, uh, in the same vein as Cuomo and uh, Whitler in Michigan, and and numerous other Democrat governors, uh, basically spent the last couple of months shoving uh, coronavirus patients into nursing homes, uh, thereby resulting in the deaths of some of Pennsylvania's most uh, most vulnerable citizens. Uh, but that's a uh, that's a subject for a, for another video. Uh, he was doing a softball interview and and it seemed like uh, <laughs> at one point uh, Joe pulled a Joe pulled a Swalwell. And let one rip on that live stream. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video. It's it's a, a very quick video, but uh, you know what? I'll play it twice, and 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 then you can decide whether or not whether or not Joe Biden let it rip while he was talking with uh, with Tom Wolf. Programs or stop work on roads and bridges. So, what does the human cost? Uh, programs or stop work on roads and bridges. So. What does a human cost? Uh... <laughs> and, and 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 you know Wolf heard it because you see that little reaction, the eyes kind of go eyes he's like, oh, kind of kind of chuckles a little bit and 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 just keeps right on going. Yeah, you, you, you I think he did. I, I really do. I th- I think Joe Biden tried to try to pull a one cheek sneak and and didn't quite pull it off and. I mean, from the sound of that, I really hope he checked his pants afterwards, or or changed or or something. Because uh, yeah, I I I I I think he I I think he did let one rip. And you know, I'm not I'm not gonna fault the guy for for being human. Because you know, you you you've, you've all farted. Every, everybody farts. I mean, when you when you got one coming, you, you got to let it go. Otherwise, you know, bad things happen. So I'm not going to fault him for that. I just I, I just think it's it's absolutely hilarious, and it just kind of it, it it unintentionally illustrates what a joke Joe Biden's campaign is. I mean, can you imagine President Trump doing something like that during a live stream? I I I absolutely. Yeah don't think he ever has done something like that. I think he he probably gets it all out beforehand. Uh, <laughs> or maybe he holds it in and then once he gets into the presidential limo from an event or or once the cameras are off, he lets it rip then. I mean, it, either way is acceptable, but yeah, I don't think I've ever heard Trump do something like that on camera or or at a rally or or a, well, at a rally he probably wouldn't really notice even if he did, but <laughs> let's let's take a look at Twitter's reaction to it. Uh, was how you know Daily Caller is still dominated by men. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Very appropriate name there, Soy Boy. Can't tell if that's a parody account or not, but uh, yeah, you, know, you you never know. Sounded very wet. Mm hmm. Like like I said, I, I I hope he checked himself after after he wrecked himself. Run it through infrared. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the the. Let's take a look. That that's the uh, the Swalwell gif when he. Fr- <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this as much as I am, but oh my god, it's really it it really is hilarious. Joe Biden is sexy. Oh god. <laughs> Watch the other guy's expression. Most intelligent thing he has ever said. Uh, it doesn't matter. The staff will put out a damage control statement attributing it to one of the keys. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to. I forgot to. I meant to cover that, and I completely forgot about it. But yeah, there was one live stream that Joe Biden did where where he was almost drowned out by a flock of honking geese. And that, that's yeah. The live streams don't go very well for Joe at all. He needs to really he needs to kind of take a step back and and maybe just kind of stop doing them for a while. Let everybody forget about this this incident. Hell, let everybody let everybody forget that he's actually running for president. That way, when the uh, the Democrats virtual convention or whatever bullshit they're planning uh, at the what when do they reschedule for August, September, something like that, like a month or two before two months uh, before the uh, the actual election. Yeah, that's. 
that's 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 going to go well for them. But uh, yeah, no, just let everybody forget that uh, creepy, sleepy Joe Biden is running for president, so that way he can come in and uh, and and act like he's the uh, the savior of the Democrat Party because uh, <laughs> he's already said he's running against the other Joe Biden, and by gum, he's going to beat him. <laughs> Oh my God, this guy is such a joke. And 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 all the national polls say that he's going to win by a landslide in November. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I you know, I I think that with this video, uh, Joe Biden's chances in 2020 have just gone up in smoke. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this video right here for you. Uh, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. As always, if you liked what you heard, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Both those things help me out quite a bit. And I will see you all next time.